Hi children, today we will start whole numbers lesson patterns in whole numbers. Patterns. Whole numbers start from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, infinity. Suppose I will take one whole number. 2 is a whole number. Where to make line elementary shape? Two dots you have to take. You have to make line. Two dots. One, two. You have to make line. Uh, rectangle you have to make? No. Square? No. Triangle? No. How many dots are there? Only two. So, you have to make only line. Next. Three. One, two, three dots are there. Elementary shapes. Line. Yes. Rectangle. Rectangle you have to make? No. Only three dots are there. Square? No. Triangle? Yes. One, two, three. Yes? Yes, you have to try. Otherwise. Next. Four. One, two, three, four. Yes, this is one line. How many dots are there? One, two, three, four. Rectangle? Yes. One, two, three, four. Yes. We have to make rectangle. Square? Yes. One, two, three, four. Square? Yes. Triangle? No. How many dots are there? Four. Four. Continuous. Here, page number 42. One table is there. This one you have to complete the table. One is a special number. So, uh, don't write that one. Start from two. Numbers, line, rectangle, square, triangle. That one, uh, this table you have to complete. Okay? Next. Exercise 2.1 Exercise 2.1 Which of the following will not represent 0? Here, first question. Next one, if the uh, product of two whole numbers. 
numbers is zero, can we say that one or both of them will be zero? Justify through example. You only solve uh, that prob second problem. Okay. Next one. Find the using distributive property. Fourth main. Second and third main you have to solve in assignment book. Okay. Fourth main. Distributive property. Second one. A. Sum it. 28 into. Oh no. 1. Here. Subway from D A into one on one distributive property. First we have to write distributive property. A into B plus C equal to A into B plus A into C. A into B A into C. Yes, A into B plus A into C. Here Seven from D A, seven from D A into this one divided by three hundred plus one. Yes. Next A into B plus A into C. Seven hundred and twenty eight into hundred plus seven hundred and twenty eight into one. Seven hundred and twenty eight. One. Yes. Seventy-two thousand eight hundred plus seven hundred and twenty-eight. Add these two numbers. You get answer seventy-three thousand five hundred twenty-eight. Yes. Understand? This apply only distributive property. Remaining problems are there. You have to solve in notebook. Uh, use this method only. Stepwise, you have to solve. Thank you.